cosmic card energy upgrade. Yeah, I guess this is what it is. It's the upgrade of the cosmic card. Cosmic card in a way, maybe it's the the center, the source, the galactic center, whatever we want to call it. But the cosmic card is really what draws us in today with Uranus retrograde in Mercury, with of course the full moon just in Aquarius. It's it's a super energy, but it is also a very gentle energy. And really the main theme is awakening. Uranus is not letting us off this hook. And so the question is, what are we awakening to? And where are you in your awakening? Now, awakening is not just something that happens to you or that happens to the collective or this earth. It is also not happening to you. It's happening for you and with you. And we have all chosen that. So you have done your development, personal development, professional development, spiritual development. But awakening is not that. And I was searching for a long time. I knew what I wasn't doing, but I start to understand what I am doing. Let me come up a little bit here so it's more comfy. So what does that all mean? We are all awakening. Some of us, of course, are rejecting, fighting, whatever, resisting. It is not a competition and it's not a must. Nothing is a must. It is a choice. And it also doesn't matter what state of awakening you are in. What matters is that you start being conscious to it. If you are not conscious, you're not here anyway for that upgrade today. So the first state of awakening, and, and possibly many of you know that, and you have already passed that first state, I am more than just this physical form. I am more than this physical persona. I am something else. So this is the first, and most people actually are there. And if you are not there, it also doesn't matter because it's okay. We are choosing whatever we are choosing. Life is choice. It might have, it might have some opportunities to learn and to unlearn, and we're evolving and all of that, but at the end of the day, it comes down to choice. So the second part is really when you start noticing there are no accidents, synchronicity. So when you notice all of this actually makes sense in a way, even though it's not logical, linear, rational, or again, whatever you want to call it. And I'm referring to the Celestine prophecy as well, because this is one of the first insights that are given in the Celestine prophecy. And so when we get there, we are, and this is number three, we're starting to feel that longing and yearning to connect. So we feel all of a sudden we are actually separated. So if I'm not just this physical body, this physical experience, this human, then who am I? And how can I connect? And we all know a lot of philosophy, spirituality, religions, they are looking for that connection. Mystic, of course. And so this is when we maybe become seekers and when we go on a journey to figure out who am I. There is no right or wrong. And this is what the message is today from the cosmic heart. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't judge yourself. Wherever you are at, we are supporting you. And this is the energy upgrade that you focus on where you are at on your awakening. And today, the bridge that I give you with the sound and the language will take you to the next, or maybe you even go two or three steps. So this is when we also recognize the divine in self. And then we start having experience that we can't explain, which is great. And this is when the mystic experiences come in and when we actually want to connect to the heart. And I'm going to talk a lot more about this because it's part of what we're doing and it's part of where we're all at. So that 
reconnection to the heart is important. The heart is metaphoric, symbolic for that I am. That is not the physical body. Just as easy as that. And of course, I also call all of this the awakening to the mystic heart. Because with this, and this now takes us to the to the next level, we actually realize we have an access to living from the heart, which is our passion and mission at this time. And this is how the bridge comes to new earth, because when we can live from the heart and have that access, we can actually cross over into new earth and live as homo luminous. So this is in general the energy. So the energy is not saying you need to be at a very high state. You need to be completely evolved. You need to be completely awakening. No, it's a very gentle energy that calls you in and asks you, where are you at? Where are you at in your awakening? Not on your self-development, not on your spiritual development, not on your professional development, but where are you at on your awakening? And so it's, it's just really interesting. It's even not about the precise states or stages that I have shared with you. It is about tuning in where I am. And from there, I will give you a sound bridge today to go to where you can go. So however, that means that you can awaken to that mystic heart, more into that wholeness, into the I am, to what level, whatever you want to call it, you can access living from the heart, our unique choice and your unique choice, and wherever you are at with this reconnecting to the heart. So this whole ascension, this whole evolutionary state is not possible without the heart and without awakening but these are the main points if you wish and of course i've been given the heart fire now which um, has moved my life around and is ready to move yours so that you can burn away all that doesn't belong to you and really figure out who am i that you can let go what holds back that you can come into your passion and express it with love and that you can be in your presence and ride that wave of awakening. So it's important today. So this is, this is the energy. Where are you at on your awakening? Don't judge yourself. Don't think about what you should have done, what you haven't done, why. It doesn't matter. Where are you at? Are you conscious about yourself? How far are you connected? How are you connected? What's the quality of this relationship that you have to self? I am and the whole with the human experience. How do you feel that shift and evolution from Homo sapiens to Homo luminous in your physical body? And of course, that's also related to your well-being because that awakening is not separated from your physical, mental, and emotional well-being and vitality. So if your physical body is struggling, then most likely it's what they call ascension symptoms or awakening symptoms. So it means you are awakening. And it's not just the food that you're eating that somebody tells you that you should eat or the medicine that you take. And so it's getting really interesting. And of course, shamans for centuries said that mental health and also emotional health is actually about awakening. It's not a illness as we often see it. So allow yourself to tune in where you are at and, and fully embrace that. And then I now ask our cosmic heart bring you that bridge to go wherever you can go. So allow yourself to be here, embrace where you are on your awakening journey, and then allow that bridge to come through and to take you where you can go. Totia.
Tutiyavu 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 Just step on that bridge and let me know where you're going. And if you need a guide, a catalyst or a channel on your journey on that bridge to your awakening, you uniquely and for the collective, because New Earth is not just you or me. It is all of us who choose to be. So see you soon. So much love from my heart to yours.